Dude, oh my god, welcome to Let's Play Final Fantasy IX, featuring Dante, I mean, um, hosted by Dante, yeah. That's it, hosted, not not featuring, it, it's featuring the game, right? That, that's it, the, the, only the game. So, I told you I was going to go to the castle, but we're not doing that. We are not doing it now. What we're going to do is challenge people to play cards. Because, oh, why I challenge that girl? <clears throat> because we need to learn how to play. Uh, we gotta look for people who look like they would spend the time to play cards. It's just, man, I never... We never did this in Alexandria, which we, we probably should have. But you, we've gotten some pretty good cards. I just don't know what they are. You can check the card game over here. See what you got. Oh my god, this is all the cards we got from battling. So, let me see. Ah, uh, shit, 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 Okay. Shit, shit. Sh yeah, respectable, I think. Uh, shit, 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 shit. Shit, shit. Eh. Something, at least. Eh. Shit, 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 shit. All of these cards are shit. Ah, they're all shit. Oh my god, they're shit. Okay, so... You're gonna have some shit cards, but we're we're gonna we're gonna deal with it, okay? The Sagan card I, I like. I like it. <clears throat> but anyway. We're gonna battle some people. I guess the best place to go to is the card freak right around here. Of course he's gonna play cards. Now if you wanna play cards with someone, you just walk up to him and, and uh press square. You wanna play cards? Yeah, I know you wanna play cards, fool. Ah, I'm drinking a drink because I need a cup. No, I don't want to. I'm drinking a, these drank drinks. I need to calm down. I guess that's the reason why I'm doing Let's Play is because I just really need to get some some talking out. Ah, oh, man. Let's see. I like to choose cards that have opposing um, arrows to them. And I, and I really don't know what I got, so... I know I want to use this, definitely. And the bomb cards wouldn't hurt either, so... Uh, okay, this will work. So basically, you start out the game, you choose five cards. <coughs> and I'll show you how it works. Flip a coin. The computer is always red. And your cards over here are blue. Now, this color coordination makes a difference. Now, I'm going to make a play. And... Hmm, let's see. I'm going to do this. Now you see what I did? I set the card down below him. I have an arrow pointing right above to his card. Because his card does not have an arrow pointing down to my card, I will take his card. So his card becomes mine as, you know, in the field of play. <clears throat> so his card becomes blue and it is technically mine. And that's an easy way to win cards, or to get cards that you really want. But let's see, what else am I going to do? Actually, I think it's, it's pretty obvious, I'm going to do this. Yeah, look at that. So if you have cards that, where the arrows actually face each other, either diagonally or up and down or whatever, they and they go to battle. And I'll show you how battle works in a little bit. Um, just as long as you know this point right here. So, from here, I am going to do this. Okay. <clears throat> I actually want to show you a battle. So, I'm pretty much got this thing in the back. Well, no, I shouldn't say that. <clears throat> I shouldn't say that. <clears throat> We're going to do this, so. Ooh, that's nasty. That's fine, though. But when two cards battle, it's actually, um, it's, it's, it's completely random, but really. It's based on a numerical system. It's, I guess it's kind of like an algorithm, an algorithmic sort of thing. But as you can see, uh, the skeleton on the top right corner, uh, the zombie on the top right corner and the skeleton on right below him, they had a battle. And because, okay, I'll just say this. The first number on each card is its attack power. The second is the type of card it is, whether physical or magical. 
The third number is a physical attack. The fourth number is, I mean, the I'm oh, sorry, the physical defense, and the fourth number is the magical defense. That's really as much as I truly understand about this game. Truly. Everything else is pretty much random, and I really don't think you have to pay that much attention to exactly how it works. So, for a card freak, he doesn't seem to have really good cards on him right now. You only win the cards that you turn. So, because I turn these cards over to blue, which is my color right here, I only get the cards that I, you know, I actually turned over. So, it's a little bit different from Triple Triad and Final Fantasy VIII. So... We're, we're honestly, I do not. I'd rather get this one actually. I do not want to be playing very many card matches. I will do a rematch. Who cares? And the card and the, the match that you do with Sid is really not that hard. Like you know, if you understand the basics of how it works, like most of this is really just luck. You know what I'm saying? One thing I will notice that as you keep using a card, its stats will level up. So you may have a card with one attack power, it may go to two, or... I think the max you can go up to is nine. I'm pretty sure you can't have a triple, a double-digit number in there, but... Ah, uh, let's see. I'll do this. So a lot of cards you can win off battle, which is nice, but I guess... There, I think there's some cards that you can only win from certain people. It's just that the cards don't really do anything besides be cards, so I guess it's fun if you just want to, you know, kind of kick back and not have to worry about, you know, battles and such, but other than that, you know, it's not really much you can do with them. I'm going to do this. You can be aggressive or defensive, depending on, you know, what your mood is. Now, his mood is very defensive right there, but we can kind of, like, you know, Put a dick in his ass by doing this. As you can see, miracle system kind of totally random. So I think you get condom uh, condoms. I think you get combos by um, how do combos work? Actually, I will look that up because I don't want to tell you something that's wrong. Because I don't want him to capture my Saragon card, I'm just going to put it here. That's another good strategy to use if you don't want your card to be captured. Oh my god! Oh no, that's bad. See, the, the battle can really turn on you real quick with the combos, and even people who really know this game, <laughs> I shouldn't say really know this game, but even people who kind of are familiar with it like I am, like, even they're surprised with some of the bullshit combos you can pull out, so I think I'm pretty much screwed, so it doesn't really matter where I put these cards. <laughs> oh my god. It's just, I don't really care. I don't, I don't care if I win this game or not. I probably should, but he's going to take my my Saragin. Oh, man. Don't take my cards, man. Oh, come on. Oh, well. I I'm drinking this drink and whatnot. I love drink because it makes you sleepy and it kind of calms you down. Maybe I'm just all freaked out because it's Valentine's Day and I don't got a girlfriend here. Yeah. Sometimes I look at myself in the mirror and I'm like, damn, why wouldn't a bitch want this? But, you know. Look, anything to keep you, uh, you know, feeling good about yourself, you gotta do it. So, if you want to look at yourself in the mirror like you're a sexy bitch, like, why should anyone make you feel bad because of that? Sometimes you really do have to feel like a sexy, sexy motherfucker. Okay, he's using my own card against me. Why would you do that? Oh, you're a dick. You're a dick. I'm gonna do this because you're a dick. Oh crap. Yeah, I forgot I had to fight that one. <laughs> oh jeez, man. <laughs> oh, I gotta win that card back. I gotta win it. I'm not gonna win this, I don't think. Uh, <clears throat> see, that's what I don't like about this game. It's so freaking random. Even the numbers, like, sometimes I really don't know exactly what those numbers mean. I just hate this game. It's so random. I think Triple Triad is way better because the rules are simpler and there's not so much bullshit you have to deal with. Besides, um, you know, some of the weird rules you have to follow. <coughs> oh, okay, I'm going to show you one more match. But, I, really, I really want this to be the only time you're ever going to see this card game besides the point where you actually have to play it. 
because the randomization of this thing is, is just is bullshit and I hate it. I hate this card game so much. <clears throat> Half the time it's like I'm not really I'm kind of paying attention to the numbers that are on there and then the half the time I'm just like throwing shit out there and it's just gonna see what happens, you know. <clears throat> so oh man. Oh, those are bad I need something that's yeah, something with not a lot of arrows, because having a lot of arrows can really fuck you up sometimes. Because that opens you up for a lot of combos and shit, so... Man. Got my work cut out for me now. I really want to win my card back, though. That's what I want to do. So we're going to do this. Ah, we... oh, you dick! See, when the computer does this, he put it in a position to where I can... I cannot turn his card over at oh no I might be able to if I get a combo off that zombie but I can't so it's well mm, no I'll try this this and this what oh my god okay that's it I'm done I, I can't play this game anymore it sucks <laughs> uh, it only sucks because I'm losing though but still I hate it I hate it as much as I don't like Final Fantasy VIII, like, I really do appreciate Triple Triad more than Tetra Master. Oh, jeez, man. I don't want to rematch, no. So that's a wasted... Uh, I should say it's a wasted video, but... Yeah, we, i show you how the card game and how it works and... Bullshit and... Yeah. I hate it! I hate it! Well, okay, I, I don't hate it, but, you know... It's... It can be nice. That's all I can say. It can be nice if you're just fooling around and you don't want to worry about the story. You just need something to do. And, you know, play the card game. You know what I'm saying? But, okay. So, at least I showed you how it works, man. So, we're going to go to the castle now. Now, not, not particularly in this video, but we're going to go to the castle. So, I'm going to cut the video here. And I will see you guys next time. Thanks. Thank you for coming along this journey with me. Bye.